If you updated your iPhone or iPad to the iOS 9 public preview and are now regretting it, there is a way to go back to iOS 8.4. First, you'll need the following things. A computer running iTunes version 12.2 or higher, a lightning cable to connect your iDevice to the computer, an internet connection, and some free time because it could take up to an hour to get the job done. Now assuming you followed Apple's and CNET's advice to create an iTunes backup before you installed iOS 9, you'll want to use the same exact computer to downgrade to iOS 8.4. It's also important to note that you won't be able to restore an iCloud or iTunes backup created when you were using iOS 9 to a downgraded device running iOS 8. With that in mind, make sure you have anything you don't want to lose such as pictures or messages off the device before you downgrade. Now let's get started. You will first need to disable the Find My iPhone feature. On your iOS device, head to Settings, tap iCloud, followed by Find My iPhone and click Off. Next, open iTunes on your computer and connect your iOS device using the lightning cable. Once connected, press the power and the home button at the same time for roughly 10 seconds. As soon as you see the Apple logo appear on the screen, let go of the power button but keep pressing the home button. A few seconds later, iTunes will alert you that it has detected an iOS device in recovery mode. Click on Restore Device, followed by Restore and Update to confirm. Then tap Next on the iOS 8.4 Update window and agree to the terms of use. The file is just shy of 2GB, so it may take some time to download. Your device will also reboot a few times, so just be patient. Once it's done, you will have a clean copy of iOS 8.4 installed on your device. As long as you made a backup before you went to iOS 9, you can restore all of your old data. When given the option to set up the device as brand new or restore from a backup, select Restore and choose your iOS 8.4 backup. When the restore process is finished, you will find the settings, messages, photos, and apps just where you left them before you updated. For more tips and tricks like this one, be sure to check out howto.cnet.com. You can also reach out to me on Twitter with any questions or comments. I'm Dan Graziar for CNET. Thanks for watching.